This week on Trinity London, we've been talking about making an impact. And sometimes you have a situation happen to you where you find it very difficult to make an impact or your face is making the impact you don't want it to make. So I had fractional radiotherapy this morning on my face, which makes my face quite red. And what it does is it tries to help with any old sort of acne scarring and just diminish um, by, by using fractional radio frequency. But I'm going out tonight and I need to get rid of that redness. So I usually wear hardly any base, but today to get rid of this redness, I'm gonna use a lot more just a touch and base. Starting up, BFF, I wear light medium. I'm going to do today, even though it's winter, I'm gonna do four pumps because I've done fractional radiotherapy, I need SPF. And even though when I go out, it will nearly be getting dark, I don't want a moment of getting sun on my face. So I put it on, I always rub in my BFF like a moisturizer. I am warts and all today because my hands, I had, um, little things done to take away the age spots. So I'm really lasered up today. So this just immediately, because it has extract of porcelain flower in it, it just tones down my redness straight away. I did some on my neck as well. Just evens it out like that. Already I'm feeling better. There. Next up, I'm gonna take just a touch in Trintron, which is my shade. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna start where I am most red. So that's gonna be around this area here. You can see just under my eye. And I'm just gonna blend it over very gently. You'll notice for the first time ever, I'm being really gentle around my makeup, but I just wanna even out the skin tone. And when you do any treatment like this, or you have a facial, or you have Botox, or you have something where you've had a, you know, aggressive treatment on your skin, you just kind of want to even out your skin tone. It's the best way to feel refreshed. So if I do one side first, you can see that. There. And on the chin especially, that's very red. Can you see? Quite bright lights, but I think you can. When you're doing foundation and you've got the right shade, you do still need to consider your neck and evening it out. So I am gonna go under there where I've it's quite red there. Do you see little bits? And I'm just gonna plop it there. I usually go halfway down my neck because if I'm wearing a white top, I don't want it to get caught on the white. So I just go halfway down. I've got quite a long neck, cleaning that up. And I can just put it on and layer and layer and layer. And it's easier for me to use a solid foundation and layer it than to have a liquid that I might put too much on the first time I apply it. That's why when I was developing Just A Touch, it was really important to make it a hot pour firm foundation and call it Just A Touch for a reason. Today though, it's going slavishly everywhere. My forehead is even, more even, less red, so I don't need so much there. And then always remember when you're doing foundation, this is a little thing, is, is just remember you're really blending it around the ear area. So you never have some kind of tide mark going on. Do a bit more here because I am still quite red and then pat because as my skin is sensitive I just want to tap it and not wipe it too much so you can see that side I've got an evenness and that side I'm still quite red oh, yes okay a bit more work to do here finishing off the last bits under my neck so I've now got a really even canvas. I am slightly shiny, but I don't mind that shine. I think looking your best and standing out from a crowd is about having makeup that makes you look like you have a great skincare routine. I'm now gonna take a little bit of redder and just put that a little dab, dabble under my eyes. Not too much, but just to blend in my foundation and to give me a little under eye help and looking like I've had 24 hours sleep, let alone four. So I've got a lot of product on my face. So when I do Miracle Blur, I don't rub in as vigorously as I normally do when I have a lighter base. So I take the amount I want on my finger, I tap it on my hand, and then I just press like this. I don't rub, I press where I want to just fill it in a bit more into that little scar, pressing in under my cheek, under my chin, 
Yeah. There. Taking away the residue shine, but keeping all the shine around here and here. So just around my pores, side of my nose, like that. And maybe here where you can get those kind of um, little double eyes, people call them the elevens. Those little pesky lines that when you wake up in the morning after a busy night dreaming, they might be stronger. So I still have that healthiness, but not where I don't want it, just around here. So I've decided to make an impact today with Valentina, which is a sort of blue red, and it's a wonderful color. It has vibrancy because there's sort of microspheres in it that make the lip pop. So here we go. Bottom done. God, that's impactful. Nearly there. A little bit more on the side. Put them together. Clean face, a little bit of brow. I might do a tiny bit of blusher now. Because I'm doing a very strong lip, I'm going to use Lady J on my cheeks. And don't forget I got the red underneath, so I just want to put this vague little bit of pink on top. Just a little bit back where I control it. Not too much, not fighting with the lipstick. Now, a tiny bit on my eye. I'm going to take a soupçon of Faith with my little tea kit brush. And I'm just going to do a kind, tiny little line. Hardly anything, yet something. Just a little more definition. Back to the face finish, just to cover up any little extra shiny bits and around the nose. It's always good to let your makeup settle for a minute before you go back to it. And voila, impactful bright lip. Remember always when you do a really bright lip, just take your finger and go and whatever you find on your finger would have been on your teeth.